Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to paint a gorgeous floral Easter design um, but I'm so excited to tell you about these brand new brushes that I'm going to use today. So we were on holiday in Malaysia quite recently and I stumbled across an amazing art shop, picked up some brand new brushes and they really unlocked some of the mysteries of soft floral loose watercolour flower painting for me. So I've been having a little practice uh, in the studio off camera really making sure I can teach you the best possible way of these loose watercolour flowers and I've gone to my brush suppliers Pro Art and found the perfect brushes to do it for you. So we're gonna do a little tutorial and also the very exciting news is this set of brushes is now readily available for you to buy in my Etsy store and my online web shop. So grab your paints and let's get started. So before we get going with the with the design, I want to talk you through these three brushes in this beautiful new set that I'm going to be using today. So the first one is called a filbert brush. So it's a flat brush, but with a lovely sort of rounded point end. I'm using the size eight brush. It's from ProArt, the brand I love to use. And this is the Proline Plus 009. So it's a synthetic bristled brush, but they are extremely proud of the technology that they have put into creating this brush to make it a really high quality synthetic watercolour brush. So I'm just getting all the bristles wet and I just want to show you what kind of shape it makes. So you get a lovely broad line, a bit of that natural curved edge, so you can imagine this will be really good for some petal shapes, but also what I really love about it is how you can really sort of twist the shape and use it on the side as well. So that is the first brush in this set, the filbert. Okay, the next two are one stroke brushes. That means they have a flat top, but they do, you can see, have just that slight sense of tapering which just means you get really nice control. So let's look at the larger one first. This is from the Pro Art Proline Plus 008 range. Just new brushes, just give them a little bit of a, a twist. And I'll just get it wet first. So a nice wet brush. So it's it works in a similar way to the filbert, but the, the big difference I guess is the the ends of the bristles and how they're shaped. So, very nice, very smooth. But what I really like about it is how you can still create interesting petal shapes with it. And it's just got a really nice bounce to the bristles they hold water beautifully, so you can see that really nice smooth finish there. And then finally, just so we've got a little bit more control for our flower painting, um, I've got a slightly smaller size. I was using it earlier, so I was getting any <laughs> of the yellow off. Um, this is the one quarter inch Pro Art Proline Plus 008 synthetic fibred watercolour brush. So get the permanent rose and you'll see, again, just a really nice brush. Gives you that sort of flat edge at the top. And look at that though, you can get really beautiful little teardrop shapes and also twist the brush into flat edges and fine points. So these are the three brushes that I have been using as a set to complement my, my normal pointed round Pro Art brushes that we, we love to use. So we're going to be focusing on using these um, and then we might use a Pro Art pointed round every now and then just to add a tiny bit extra if we need. I've got an A5 piece of watercolor paper here and on it I've faintly drawn an egg shape. Now I did it by first using the compass to do it, and then a little measuring trick, which I've done in a lot more detail on last week's quick fix, the Ukrainian Easter egg, Pysanka Easter eggs. Um, if you want to watch me do that in full, head over to that tutorial from last week, 
and you can watch it. So colours wise, I've, I'm going to mix up some permanent rose and yellow ochre because I love that colour combination. It makes a really nice sort of blush pink colour. And then over on the left here, I've got uh, a mixture of Burnt Sienna, Payne's Grey and a little bit of Alizar and Crimson which makes for a nice sort of aubergine purple colour and then down here I just mixed a bit of Burnt Sienna, Payne's Grey and a bit of Yellow Ochre and then some Alizar and Crimson and that just makes quite an interesting sort of muted colour as well so, without further ado, let's see what these brushes can do. What I want to do is, is fill this shape with some flowers. Okay, so I'm going to start with this colour here. And I'm working with a really translucent, wet colour. It's diluted, it's pale, because the style of flower I want to paint really focuses on um, building up layers nice and gently. Okay, so let's go. So you see I twist the brush around there and around again and what I'm doing is I'm building up a sort of series of petals that are going to sort of culminate in the the center here and that's looking really nice I'm going to paint one now in whoops a daisy in my <laughs> one stroke brush we'll do one here and you can see the slight difference with the slightly sort of blockier brush. What I really love about these is the way in which the petals are formed in a much more organic way than controlling them with the Pro Art uh, pointed round brushes all the time. What's nice is it's it's not to say that anything is right or wrong, but it's all about making new discoveries. And then with both these brushes, uh, both these flowers, I'm going to just use my smaller brush, create a little bit of a stronger colour with that Alizar and Crimson and Burnt Sienna, and I'm just going to drop in. bit of colour while still wet. So I'm just making it sort of a, a little bit stronger but still nice and dilute. That's looking really nice. Okay, I'll go back to here and I'm going to paint in a few more flowers but not all of them quite as as detailed I just want to sort of embrace the sort of looseness I think the most important thing is to just keep a sense of where the center of that flower is in your mind so I like to leave a little bit of Sort of unpainted space just as a little reminder of where these things are so now I've got some cadmium yellow a little bit of yellow ochre and I'm just going to just fill that in like that so I'm just trying to maintain the, the edges of this egg. And there's no problem if one flower edge bleeds into another. In fact, I quite like that. See, there we go go quite purposefully in. And then 
and just whilst we still can, drop in a little bit of colour maybe there. You can see all these blends are just going really nice and smoothly in. Let's take a little bit of a dark colour there. And just dab those in. And then we have got a few little gaps where we could add in some leaves. So I'll wake up my sap green. And my green gold, I think. It's spring and Easter, so a nice bit of yellowy goodness in there. And I love the sort of rather unexpected leaf shapes you can get with these brushes just by squashing them down and twisting them up like that. Squash down, twist up, there we go, and then just add maybe a little bit of a little bit of sap green in there. Okay, so I'm just going to fill that in let it dry and then we can add another layer. So that's dried really nicely and now we can start looking at a few little bits of detail. So I'm going to begin with uh, some cadmium yellow and just a few sort of dashes to sort of establish that central point there and maybe I'll we'll just leave that like that for the moment. I do find you have to become quite sort of slow and, and like ponderous as you paint like this. It's quite a therapeutic style of painting and yeah, just don't feel like you need to be kind of frant with frantic energy when you're painting these kinds of flowers. Um, it's more about a nice of slow, almost meditative style. So what I'm gonna do now I've picked up some sort of just slightly stronger colour and I'm painting it obviously onto a, a dry page and I'm just starting to create a little bit more interest, a little bit more detail. So I'm using the brush on an angle. I guess I'm looking for ways to create extra sort of shape with the with the flower it's not doing it's about not doing too much but just sort of it's almost as if you were looking at a flower like a magic eye painting and you just sort of relax your eyes down. So there, what I've done is I've sort of painted in a sort of petal from, from behind. So I think always anchor your brush strokes to the center. Be thinking about that. And it's all about having a play, like this style of painting was not something I did much, definitely on, um, didn't do on YouTube. And I think it was from going on holiday, actually, that just sort of helped me relax a little bit. And uh, yeah, encouraged me to try some new things or to consider these things that I've already been painting like this for a while to actually maybe be quite of interest to some of you. So 
we don't have to do detail on all the flowers but it can be nice too so for this one here I'm going to actually paint in almost like a, a layer in front Okay, so we're just going to slowly build up layers and also that, that also applies to the leaves as well. So I've got some Payne's Grey mixed in with some Sap Green and just going to fill fill the space what I am keen to do is to make sure that the the egg shape feels filled out so when we rub it out it doesn't seem like a like a weird shape we don't actually know what it is so we'll let that dry one more time and then just do a little bit more detail to finish so I added a few more um, cadmium yellow centers and now I'm going to take a bit of yellow ochre and just add in a few low lights And also, of course, you don't have to be filling in all your flowers with yellow centres. Um, I've got a flower up the top there that could do with something a little darker. So I've just taken a bit of Payne's Grey and Burnt Sienna and dabbed in a few clustered dots there. And I think for that little flower up here, just a little bit of yellow is kind of nice. And then it's a case of just sort of looking around and thinking, well, is there anything else I want to do? And I always do find things I want to do. So I'm going to take just a little bit of shadow mix into my yellow ochre and just add a few more low lights on the center. And there you have a very sort of um, new and different loose approach to painting. Um, and it's all about sort of not being too scared to put paint to paper. So you can see now I'm just sort of playing around a little bit, adding a few more little bits in. And it's about sort of trying new things with watercolour and being a bit more instinctive. I know loose watercolour painting is a bit sort of divisive. Some people love it, some people don't quite get it, but I think these three brushes just go to show that if you're more like me, you prefer the kind of controlled loose style or a bit more detailed, um, there is a lot to be gained from just trying something new. So these brushes are available on my website in my Etsy store and yeah, uh, if you fancy having a go, this is the set that I recommend from playing around and experimenting. So I do the hard work, so you don't have to. Um, so we're just going to let that dry, rub out the pencil and see if we've got a lovely Easter design. So there we have the pencil all rubbed out and that has made a really lovely spring floral Easter card design. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. 
Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one and I hope you enjoyed the demo with this brand new set of brushes that I'm now adding to my larger collection that I use on a daily basis. I want to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. Of course don't forget you can buy these brushes in my Etsy shop and my online store and of course if you never want to miss another video hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and we'll see you again next time. Bye!